I'm doing a little project here on some data for a rocket launch, and I want to copy and paste this data into a spreadsheet. Right now it's from a PDF file online uh, from a NASA project, and I'm just going to highlight my data here so that I can copy it. I can either right-click copy or I can hit Control C, and I'm going to go to my spreadsheet and paste it in, but watch what happens when I hit paste. It all ended up on one line. This is completely useless to me. So let's talk about cleaning up this data, cleaning up data that I got from somewhere else because I mean, this is not useful. The first thing you're pretty much always going to want to do is not paste it normally. You're going to want to paste special and just paste the values. That way it doesn't copy any of the bolding, any links, any table references or anything like that. So I'm just gonna paste values only. Okay, so I've got some values here. This is a lot better than it was before. And I can see I've got my time, my altitude, my velocity, my acceleration, and each piece of data is in one cell. So I've got my time, altitude, velocity and acceleration. I want to split that up. I really want to have uh, my, my time as its own thing here. I'm just going to copy the headings, my altitude, my velocity, and my acceleration as separate columns in my spreadsheet. So I'm going to show you two ways to do this. One is way more simple than the other. So I'm going to highlight all of the data that is currently squished together in a box. And I need to know how it's separated. So we're gonna take a look here. I've got some commas, I've got some decimals, but definitely the data is separated by spaces. And that's really important to know what it's separated by, and it has to be separated by that same thing every time. So now that I've got my data highlighted, I'm gonna go over here to data. I'm gonna say split text to columns. So what I wanna do here is I wanna split up this text into separate columns, split text to columns. And it tries to do it automatically and it usually misses. Uh, it's trying to use commas, first of all. So it, the separator was detected automatically, but it didn't do a good job. So I'm gonna change that to say space. And look what it did. It gave me all of my data spaced out. Now I'm just gonna move my headings because I've put them in the wrong spot. And there, I've got my time, altitude, velocity, and acceleration. Now, if you don't want to use the data split text to columns, you can actually use a formula. So especially in Google Sheets, we have a formula you can use. So I can say equals split. And split is the formula that will split up some sort of text based on some sort of delimiter. Now my delimiter in this case is a space. So I'm gonna put a space. And the other two options are not necessary. They're just uh, optional. And there I was, I was able to split this first piece of data into its four pieces and I can drag that down or copy and paste to fill in my split formula to give me all of my information there. And now all of that data has been split in, into its individual pieces. And that's how you can split up and clean up data from an external source.